It is March Magic in the MHFAA. We welcome you to Mount Pleasant High School for the boys' basketball districts. It's the opening round as the Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Gimmicks meet for the third time this season. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper and Tom. The first time these two teams met, we went to overtime. That game was at Midland High. The Dow High Chargers came out on top. The second time these two teams met, it was at Dow High. Again, overtime. Dow High came out on top. Here we are in the game that really matters, the postseason. These two teams preparing for another epic showdown. And to say these teams aren't matched up well to each other, uh, you, you got to say they're crazy. I mean, they, they have played uh, you know, basket for basket uh, for the last two meetings, but tonight is for all the marbles, actually because this means they advance. Absolutely, and we welcome those watching us on Facebook Live. Be sure to watch this program in its entirety on the weekend here on the MCTV Networks. And of course, we welcome you here to MCTV and MPS, the production of high school sports. Six cameras to bring you the action tonight between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers, two teams that have ended the season on different notes. The Dow High Chargers coming off a strong win against Traverse City Central, Midland High coming off a lost to Saginaw Arthur Hill, but it's the postseason, Tom. Nothing matters except for the game that's about to be played. And both teams have a lot of talent, but right now you'd say that Dow has finally found a groove and Midland High is trying to regain one. The winner of this game will move on to Wednesday at a showdown with Mount Pleasant, uh, who is the favored team in the district. The other side of the bracket saw uh, Bay City Central emerge victorious earlier tonight. But here we've got the Chemex and the Chargers at a showdown for the right to move on to the semifinals as the boys basketball postseason begins here tonight. And uh, as we said, Tom, this should be a terrific matchup. Right now, we're going to turn things over to our public address announcer. We'll get the starting lineups at our national anthem, and we've got boys basketball coming your way on MCTV. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and the Mount Pleasant correction. The Michigan High School Athletic Association welcomes you to Mount Pleasant High School for tonight's district game in the 2018 Class A Boys Basketball Tournament. You have a great responsibility tonight to conduct yourselves responsibly to be a good sport. Remember, nothing beats good sportsmanship. The privilege of this event was made possible by those who have fought and conti continue to fight for the freedoms we enjoy. Let us now honor and respect their efforts and our country. Civilian gentlemen, please remove your hats. All veterans, we encourage you to render the appropriate salute. And everyone able, please stand at attention, placing your hands over your hearts as we proudly sing along with a recording of our national anthem. And now let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game between the visiting Chemex of Midland High and the home team Chargers of H.H. Dow. For the Chemex, junior number four, Mason Pilgrim. For the Chargers, senior number three, Ben Zeitler. For the Chemex, freshman number 10, Al Money. For the Chargers, senior number 10, Mitchell Hayes. 
For the Chemex, senior number 21, Martin Money. For the Chargers, junior number 24, Isaac Molinar. For the Chemex, senior number 32, Garrett Willis. For the Chargers, senior number 25, Zach Chichester. For the Chemex, junior number 44, Isaiah Bridges. And for the Chargers, number uh, junior number 44, Jacob Stone. Head coach of the Chemex is Eric Kraus. Head coach of the Chargers is Mark Dickerson. Your officials for this evening's contest are Bruce Moss, Dustin Crawford, and Lars Murray. The starting lineup said we are set to go. High school basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, a great MCTV crew of about a dozen volunteers. Jeff Yoder, our step man, all set to go for this contest. The Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemics. Midland High will be wearing their blue uniforms. They've been designated the visiting team for the contest tonight. The Dow High Chargers will be in their home white uniforms. The Midland High Chemics starting with Mason Pilgrim, Al Money, Martin Money, Garrett Willis, and Isaiah Bridges. The Chemics coming in at 8 and 12. The Dow High Chargers with a 12 and 8 record. Ben Feitler, Mitchell Hayes, Isaac Molinar, Zach Chichester, and Jacob Stone will be the starters. The ball tossed up in the air. The Dow High Chargers in white going left to right. The Midland High Chemics will be going right to left, and Martin Money chasing down the basketball and Martin Money will pass it over to Mason Pilgrim as this third meeting between the Kimmicks and the Chargers underway. This game being played at Mount Pleasant High School. Pilgrim to Isaiah Bridges. Bridges is a junior on this Bill and High team. At the top of the key, Garrett Willis, the senior, passing over to Pilgrim. Just underway with this boys basketball district quarterfinal driving into the baseline and a great block from behind. Jacob Stone, the junior, who had a great game last time these two teams met, coming up with a block underneath. Zach Chichester taking it to the hole. That shot no good. Put back by Molinar is no good. Ball is on the ground and L Money, the freshman, will come away with it. That was a good, good aggressive uh, uh, recovery for Al Money. Al Money, three point shot, no good. Rebound by Midland High. Kimmich will keep the possession down at their end. Couple of bounce passes up to the top of the key. Now Al Money, the younger of the Money boys that are out on the basketball court here tonight. Fadeaway shot taken by Garrett Willis is no good, and Mitchell Hayes will pull down the rebound. Hayes working it over to Molinar. Molinar back up to Chichester at the top of the key. Chichester driving into the paint. This time, the shot will fall through. And Tom, that is something he has been doing more and more as the season progressed. Zach Chichester taking it to the hole. Well, it's kind of doubled his game. Uh, before, he was uh, uh, comfortable standing out beyond the arc. But now he's driving to the basket, becoming a lot more lethal. Chargers with an early lead. Three-point shot by Pilgrim off the back of the backboard. It counts either way. Mason Pilgrim with the three-pointer. Midland High taking the lead. Chichester working it around. Midland High three, Dow High two. Just over six minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Chichester with the basketball on the far side. Working it back over to Molinar. Molinar, the junior, will work it to Jacob Stone. Now feed to Zeitler, three-point shot, no good. Isaiah Bridges will get the rebound for Midland. Couple of decent shots by the Chargers, but only one falling. Garrett Willis for Midland High. Working it over to Martin Money. Bounce pass to Garrett Willis. Fadeaway shot is no good. Rebound by Ben Zeitler, the senior. Works it ahead. Mitchell Hayes back to Chichester. Works it around to Isaac Molinar. Dow High under head coach Mark Dickerson playing some great basketball as of late as they work it inside of Jacob Stone. And Stone able to get the basket to fall through. Dow High regaining the lead. Four to three in favor of the Chargers. Just over five minutes to go in the first quarter. And I think if you were to look at the rise in Dow's performance, I think you could point to Jacob Stone. And uh, attempting to go for the steal was Chichester, but he's going to be called for a foul. And that will bring the first sub of the game. John White, the junior, will come into the game for the Midland High Chemics. 
White playing that sixth roll off the bench for Eric Krause. Well, so far, both teams are, are going man-to-man -man against their opponents, but uh, Dow's got kind of a man-to-man -man with some zone uh, aspects to it. So uh, we'll see how Midland's able to handle that. Bridges going up over top of Chichester, but can't get the basket to fall. Chargers will come back the other way. Seidler feeds it out to Jacob Stone. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound pulled down by Mason Pilgrim. Good job by Pilgrim of boxing out and coming down with the board. You don't have to be tall to rebound well. Pilgrim feeds it out to Al Money. That three-pointer is no good. Ball's going to be off of the Chargers, so Midland High will keep the basketball. Usually that's good to use your head, but not to uh, head it out of bounds. 4.24 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High leading by one. Boys basketball district quarterfinals. Winner of this game will move on to take on Mount Pleasant. Isaiah Bridges with the ball defeated inside to John White, and we're going to have a foul called on Jacob Stone. Mark Dickerson, not sure about uh, that call, but Bruce Moss is. The officials, Bruce Moss, that is who you see on your screen right now. Dustin Crawford and Lars Murray, the other two officials working this contest. Bridges with the basketball, now to Martin Money. John White has it at the top of the key for the Midland High Chemics. Midland High working around the perimeter. Pilgrim with a bounce pass to White. Now Midland will continue to try to get the ball into Bridges' hands. And it didn't get, work that time because not, Isaac Molinar comes up with a steal. Chichester drives in, fadeaway shot, no good. Battle for the rebound, Midland High will come away with it. Neither team shooting particularly well in the uh, first uh, few minutes of this contest. No, they've, uh, they've rushed a lot of shots so far. A couple of dribbles by Pilgrim as he tries to go towards the baseline. They're going to swing it back around. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer from the top of the key. That's the shot Midland's been waiting for. Yeah, and Bridges can hit that shot. He can also go to the basket real well. So uh, Dow's got to really try to slow him down. Six to four, just under three minutes to go. In the first quarter, very few stoppages of play so far. A couple of fouls against Dow and Charger or Midland High nearly coming away. The steal recovered by Molinar. He feeds it inside and a foul is going to be called on Bridges. That's going to be the first foul against Midland High. But that one happens to be a shooting foul for the junior. Jacob Stone will go to the free throw line for Dow High. Let's take a look at this, Tom. Yeah not, yeah, not a whole lot of contact. Yeah. Almost looked like uh, Pilgrim made the contact from behind, but they called the foul on Bridges. Yeah, uh, sometimes the, the fouls occur a little further down, too. It can be a push with the shoulder. So the, the refs definitely have the better angle. They're right on the court. There's no doubt about that. Six to five the score. Midland with the lead. Two and a half to play here in the opening quarter. Garrett Willis with the ball for Midland will work it back out to Pilgrim, now to John White. Over to Martin Money, he's one of the seniors on this Midland High team. Garrett Willis will take it to the hole, blocked from behind by Jacob Stone. Ahead to Mitchell Hayes, Hayes trying to work one-on-one. -on -one. Hayes can't get the shot to go, but Molinar is there for the rebound. Good follow by Molinar. And Dow High back on top. Seven to six, Chargers. Two minutes to go. Zach Chichester with a steal. Chichester goes up over top of Martin Money and will draw the foul. Won't get the basket, but Chichester will go to the free throw line. Well, as fast as this game has been going, uh, that, that play before with Molinar, he was rewarded for just hustling to follow up the play, and the ball came right into his hands. Zach Chichester will be on the free throw line. Chichester is a senior for the Dow High Chargers. Gets the free throw to fall. Several subs coming into the game. Tom Oakley will come in for the Dow High Chargers. Bridges checks back in and Al Money checks back in. Chichester, one of six seniors 
for the Dow High Chargers, and Chai Chester able to get both of these free throws to go. Battled a little bit of an injury bug throughout the season, but looking pretty good in the first quarter tonight. I think for Midland to be successful tonight, they've got to try to keep uh, Willis and Bridges on the court at the same time. Uh, nobody in foul trouble early. A minute 42 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High leading by three. Chai Chester coming up with another steal. Slam it on home. Zach Chai Chester. That's a way to get the Charger fans excited. And Dow High's got the biggest lead of the game. Al Money getting it across midcourt. Working it ahead now to Drew Gandy, who have checked in. And the, are we going to get a foul or a jump ball? Looks as if a foul is going to be called. Mitchell Hayes drawing the foul on the Chargers. Well, the Chemics are being a little sloppy on some of the passes around the top of the key. And Dow's been getting some tips and a couple steals. They've got to really control the ball much better. or This is going to be a uh, big deficit quickly. Just over a minute to go here in the first quarter. A five-point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High working the ball, and there's a miscommunication resulting in a turnover, the first uh, unforced turnover of the game. Mason Pilgrim is going to uh, check back in. Let's take a look at Chichester here, Tom. He almost took off too early, but he was able to glide enough and being 6'6 and having equally long arms, he had enough room. Great job by our MCTV crew tonight. Chichester into your living room for that slam dunk a few moments ago. Underneath, Isaac Molinar able to get the bucket. The Chargers extending their lead. 13-6 down, 35 seconds to go. And they're trapping Money, who did find an outlet to Mason Pilgrim. Chargers have picked up their defense a little bit here in the first quarter. You're feeling the energy. Pilgrim tries to drive in. That is no good. Battle for the rebound is going to go into the Dow High bench, and it will be Charger basketball. 20 seconds even to play here in the opening quarter. Midland is going to bring Henry Kessler into the game. He's a junior, and that's because, uh, well, Maybe uh, maybe feeling the effects of the uh, physicality of the postseason. Well, I think with Kessler, that gives uh, Mid Midland High a, a nice uh, mid-range shooter. Uh, right now, Mid Midland High has got, got to find some way of being able to, uh, to, to beat Dow's pressure. Now the Chargers peaking at the right time. And the Dow High Chargers looking to continue their win streak. There's a three-pointer that is no good by Feitler. And the ball goes out of bounds as the first quarter comes to an end. The third meeting of the season between the Chemex and the Chargers at the end of the first quarter. It's the Dow High Chargers 13, the Midland High Chemex 6. We'll be back right after this word from the MHF AA. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. We are back at Mount Pleasant High School Boys Basketball District quarterfinal between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High with a 13-6 lead over the Midland High Chemex as we get ready to start the second quarter. And for Midland High, the only points they've scored were from two three-point shots. They're two for 10 from the field. Uh, Dow High, five for 12, three of four from the free throw line. Uh, Chichester has six points. Dow High with the ball as we start the second quarter and a fadeaway shot by Tom Oakley. The senior comes off the bench and gets on the board 
for the Chargers. Dow High leading 15 to 6, just underway in the second quarter. Jason Harper, Town Bell, Stepman, Jeff Yoder, and about a dozen MCTV volunteers bringing you the action. And a foul called on the Chargers. Oakley is going to be called for the foul. He does not agree with it, but nonetheless, that is going to be the uh, first foul on Oakley, but the fourth foul on the Chargers. Looking over the shoulder of veteran coach Eric Krause with Millen High inbound. No foul called there underneath, and Dow High will come away with the ball. Nick Siraki into the game for the Chargers. Dow High will feed it inside to Jacob Stone. Stone goes back out to Zeitler. Bounce pass over to Stone. Working on the far side, and a couple of dribbles now by Zeitler up to the top of the key. Zeitler will feed the ball to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes will take a couple of dribbles. Dow High trying to go around the perimeter. Midland High trying to pick up their defense. Bounce pass to go inside. And a second bounce pass nicely done. Mitchell Hayes with the pass. Jacob Stone with the bucket. And that's the offense that Mark Dickerson wants to run. Hey, and, and Dow is really running their stuff. And a lot of really good interior passing that created that shot by Stone. Garrett Will, or excuse me, that's Henry Kessler trying to go baseline. Garrett Willis had the ball briefly and a foul. I think the only thing, if you're Mark Dickerson, that you may not be pleased with is the fact that you've got a lot of fouls unnecessary, a lot of fouls away from the ball, a lot of, you know, hand check, you know, ticky tack like fouls. Well, when you've got a defense that's really aggressive as Dow's is right now, you got to be careful you don't get sloppy with it. You know, it's not just all energy. You've got to pick your moments. Uh, to get your, your hand into a passing lane. Yeah, but Dow High's been playing great defense in this contest. Midland High, about only one possession that Midland really got the offensive shot that they've been looking for. Martin Money working the ball around for the Chemics. Kessler will pass the ball inside to John White. White will go back out to Bridges. There's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Mitchell Hayes. That may have been the shot that the Kimmicks were looking for, but ends up empty-handed. It Charges. may have been the shot that Dow was going to give up, too. Going inside, fadeaway shot by Stone, count it. Jacob Stone getting the bucket, Dow High increasing their lead. 5.45 to go here in the second quarter. Bridges. From the free throw line, that shot is no good. Follows his shot, gets the rebound, but has the ball stripped away. Chargers come back the other direction. Mitchell Hayes to Jacob Stone, three-pointer. That is off the mark. Chargers able to get the rebound. Work it back out to Zeitler, top of the key. That shot is no good, and Al Money will get the board right in front of our cameras, and Money will bring it down. Eric Krause may be thinking about a timeout if the Chargers increase their lead any more than what they have. The Chemics seem real stagnant on offense. They've got to continue to move. Working on to the baseline, that shot. Contested and no good. That is not the shot that Eric Krause wanted. Dow High coming back in the other direction. Ben Feitler at the top of the key will work it to Tom Oakley. Oakley feeds it to Mitchell Hayes. Now goes to Jacob Stone. Stone feeding into the pain, and Stone will draw the foul. Will not get the bucket, but Stone will go to the free throw line. Well, there are uh, benefits to go to the line. You get uh, some chemics and some foul trouble, and he gets to go to the line and increase this lead. They're up by 13. And that's only the third foul. As Stone on the free throw line. Gets the shot to fall through, and now Eric Krause is going to uh, call a timeout with 4.39 to play here in the second quarter. It'll be a full timeout with the Dow High Chargers on top, 20 to six over the Midland High Chemics. And we do remind you that you are watching this contest on MCTV, and you can find the MCTV channels on Charter Communications between channels 188 and 191. If you're a subscriber to AT&T Uverse, you can find us on channel 99 and the replay dates right there on your television screen Tuesday through Friday, 8 o'clock a.m., 8 o'clock p.m. on Charter 189, Uverse 99, 
And the game will also be available on the MPS School Channel and on YouTube within the uh, the next week. So lots of opportunities to uh, check out this action of the uh, boys basketball districts here on MCTV. And again, we've got six cameras. There's one of our cameramen. Six cameras. Uh, the the trailer is out back here at Mount Pleasant, bringing out all the stops. And last time these two teams met, we went into overtime, but. For that to happen, Midland High has got to start uh, making some baskets. They've got six points in a quarter and a half of play. Well, as long as we've been doing these games, we've often seen in a highly competitive matchup, at least, that one team gets out ahead and then they lose their steam. And uh, it, it allows the other team uh, to get back into the game. So uh, Dow has to continue with this effort. And Midland just has to find a way to uh, to find a weakness, uh, in, they've got to go inside. They've got to uh, get to the line or uh, get, get some baskets inside. The three-point shot's just not going to carry them to the next game in this tournament. Zach Chichester has checked into the game for the Dow High Chargers, giving Stone his first break. Midland High working the ball. Garrett Willis, three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Tom Oakley. The senior will pull down the board. Chargers will work it at Chichester trying to pass across. That doesn't work, and Midland High will come back in transition the other way, and Isaiah Bridges will slow things down. The Gimmicks try to get their offense working halfway through the second quarter. Pilgrim thought about driving now to Henry Kessler. Midland High seems very content working that ball around the perimeter, having trouble finding anything inside. Isaiah Bridges charges in, his shot is blocked, and then maybe a little frustration being shown by the Kimmich. Garrett Willis will pick up the foul. First one on Willis, fourth one on Midland High. There, well, you, see the, uh, there you see the block a few moments ago, and uh, a little bit of frustration, and Molinar paid the price for it. Back to live action. The now high Chargers with the basketball and the lead. Chargers will feed it inside. Now they work it back out. Chichester with the ball for the Chargers. Now back over to uh, Molinar. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Oakley. Put back. Does not fall through. And Isaiah Bridges will bring down the board. And a reach-in foul is going to be called on Chichester. Yeah, that's a tough spot to uh, draw a foul when you're... I don't know, 80 feet from the basket, but if you've got an opportunity to to block a pass in there, but uh, to slap at it, you really have to, to uh, relax. Just over three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Dow High leading 21 to six in the boys district quarterfinals. Winner will play Mount Pleasant. The ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna stay down at that end, it will stay Midland High basketball. Kimmick will inbound it, trying to go inside, something that they have not had much luck with. That time it does work for the Kimmick. A little bit of a reverse layup for John White to a break a scoring drop. That's the first point for Midland High here in the second quarter. Jacob Stone back in the game, can't get the three-pointer to go, but the rebound is there for Nick Siraki, and the junior will put the board back in. Dow seems a step quicker right now than Midland High. 2.25 to go, and a big lead for the Chargers. Midland High trying to feed it inside. Dow Midland High is in the bonus. White will work it back out to Kessler. Kessler drives the baseline, and he will draw the foul. Kessler will go to the free throw line. That foul is going to be on Siraki, which is his second. A couple of Chargers with two fouls, but nobody really in foul trouble as we take a look at that last drive, something that Midland High has not been successful with uh, much tonight. Well, Midland right now, you can see some some anguish. They're not running their offense right now, and they're they're kind of playing indiv like individuals. And that shot uh, by Kessler, he was fouled, but I'm not so sure it was part of any kind of plan 
coming from Kessler, or coming from Krause. Mark Dickerson will call a timeout before the second free throw and we remind you that the broadcast of today's game is a copyrighted presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and the MCTV Network. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the descriptions or accounts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and Midland Community Television. Twenty-three to nine is where we stand. A little bit over two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Henry Kessler on the free throw line for Midland. He is a junior. Kessler got the first free throw to go. This is the first trip down onto the stripe for Midland. Second one is no good, and Sam Drake, who just checked in for the Chargers, pulling down the rebound. At the top of the key is Seitler. Seitler will work the ball over to Drake. Now feeding it over to Oakley, and Oakley will work it back out to Jacob Stone. Three-pointer is good. Stone having a tremendous contest. Midland High, John White will take it to the hole, and that shot is no good. But White did draw the foul, so he will go to the free throw line. How about the fact now High, 10 of 23. In the first half so far, while well, Midland High is only 3 of 17. Only one turnover in the game for the Dow High Chargers. So Dow High doing a very nice job defensively as John White goes to the free throw line for Midland High. White gets a friendly bounce. Jacob Stone leading score, 12 points as you... Take a look at what brings White to the free throw line. Second shot does not fall through. So Midland High, two of four on the free throw line, but they do get the rebound, but had the ball only briefly. Now everybody fighting for it. Midland High will come away with it. Al Money thought about the three. Now Isaiah Bridges will work it over to Kessler. Now on the far side, shot taken by Drew Gandy, and that one will fall through the senior with the basket for the Midland High Chemex. Gandy, his first basket of the game. That looked much more like a team on that possession for Midland High. And a 10-second call. The Chargers could not get the ball across midcourt. The Chemex picking up the defense a little bit. Well, could this be the spark that Eric Krause has been looking for? Well, they've only got 69 seconds to work with here in the second quarter. But Midland High coming off Gandy's three-pointer and a rare Dow High turnover has the potential to kind of cut into that lead. Gandy will work the ball over to Al Money, feeding it now to John White. Goes inside Isaiah Bridges. Nice move by Bridges. Could not get the foul. Jacob Stone picking up where he left off the last time these two teams met, playing great defense. Sam Drake out to Seitler. Oakley working it over, quick passes, accumulating in a three-pointer for Jacob Stone. Four quick passes in a row by the Dow High Chargers, and they get a basket out of it. That's the offense that Mark Dickerson likes to see. 29-13 in favor of the Midland High Chemex. Kessler with a long three-pointer doesn't fall through. Rebound pulled down by the Chargers. Final seconds of the first half as Dow High working the basketball over to Sam Drake. Has the ball knocked away. Isaiah Bridges will reach one off oh, from midcourt. Bridges able to hit the rim but does not fall through in the first half coming to an end here at Mount Pleasant High School with the Dow High Chargers on top. 29 to 13 and Tom what we saw here in the first half was Dow High playing the style of basketball that Mark Dickerson wants them to play. Yeah and we saw a lot of energy we saw a lot of team play lots of interior passing 
Uh, Stone was outstanding. Jacob Stone was outstanding. He goes into halftime with 14 points, basically half of what Dow scored, but he got it through team play that they set him up for shots in the corner, and Stone defensively was very, very tough on the inside against Midland High. Yeah, there's no doubt Jacob Stone leading the way for the Dow High Chargers, but again, they had everything going the way that they wanted things to go. If you're the Midland High Chemics, you've got to use halftime to do some regrouping. You're, you're, you're down by a little bit, but you're not out of the game. Yeah, and Midland High has got to have a little more confidence in their so-called stuff that they run. Uh, they got out of their offense a little too, too quickly. They seem to be a, a little frantic. And, you know, it's one and done, but, you know, there's still a lot of time left to go to in this game. And uh, they're, they're only down by 16, and, th and that can be... Uh, taken care of rather quickly with a little bit better team play. And if you're the Chargers, you want to keep on doing exactly what you have been doing in the first half. We are at halftime of the boys' basketball district quarterfinals. The Dow High Chargers on top 29-13. to We'll be back with more right here on MCTV. Chemics, the Dow High Chargers. You see Midland High at the far end warming up for the third quarter. Chargers have yet to emerge from the locker room, but Dow High has a 29-13 lead over the Midland High Chemics. The uh, Chargers scoring uh, often in the third quarter. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and uh, Tom, we'll see what the uh, third quarter and what the adjustments made will, uh, will come to bring here at Mount Pleasant High School. But right now, let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights from the first half of this district quarterfinal game. Garrett Willis Morgan, that's the defense of Jacob Stone early on. Of course, Zach Chichester not afraid to take it to the basket for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High only a couple of three-pointers to score for them, but Dow High, it's the, the drive of the Chargers going inside, Tom. And scoring on the inside. We, we did get a little help with uh, Bridges and here, on the outside. Now the Dow High Chargers, just great follow-through by Molinar. Yep. And Good then hustle. this one right here. The play of the half right here. Slam it on home, Zach Chichester, getting the Dow High Charger fans excited. With my hands, I would have thrown that over the backboard. <laughs> well, with my leaping ability, I would have well, still been at the free throw line. <laughs> Now Midland High attempting to go inside. A little bit of offense that Midland High had towards the end of that first half was by driving inside. And the three-pointers as well. But it's the Dow High Chargers that controlled most of the first half during the uh, course of that contest, including the uh, three-pointer by Jacob Stone. In fact, Jacob Stone leading the way for the Dow High Chargers. 14 points in the first half for Jacob Stone. Zach Chichester has got six points. 15 rebounds to the Dow High Chargers. It's really everything that Mark Dickerson wanted to begin the postseason, at least so far in the first half. And I think you saw in some of those highlights how spread out Dow was, how many passing lanes they had, and how many good shots they were able to take. Absolutely, and the Dow High Chargers controlling things from the floor, 11 of 24 from Dow High, while Midland High on the other end, only four of 20. But if anybody can turn things around, it's that man right there, Eric Krause, the veteran coach of the Midland High Chemics, giving some uh, instruction to his players as we prepare for the third quarter. Glad you could be with us here on MCTV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, our stat man, Jeff Yoder, and some great volunteers bringing you the action of tonight's contest between the Chemics and the Chargers. Dow High with the lead, 29 to 13. The Midland High Chemics, however, will be getting the basketball to uh, start things off. Midland High in their blue uniforms 
of the visiting team. Not that it matters much when you play basketball on a neutral uh, court, but. No, it, it really doesn't. Uh, but uh, I'm sure both coaches have talked about the first three minutes of the second half being so important to set the, a brand new tempo of the second half. Midland High's got to run their offense. They've got to, to pass well. They've got to take much better shots. Isaiah Bridges getting that three-point shot, but it's no good. Chargers going right to left here in the third quarter. Dow High down the court and working inside. Chichester can't get the shot to go. Midland High will come away with the rebound. Midland High will now come back the other direction. Midland High feeds it back. John White working the ball. Goes inside and on the ball, or on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. Midland High will come away with it. You have to like that if you're the Kimmicks coach. And there's a shot from just inside the three-point line. Mason Pilgrim hitting a two-point shot for the Midland High Kimmicks. It was announced as a three, but I believe it was a two. And a steal on the other end, Midland High coming up with a basket and a steal to try to make a game out of this district quarterfinal. Well, this is a beginning. You know, they've got a fair distance to go. Al Money working over to Isaiah Bridges. Bridges. Goes left, then switches back right, takes it in, but can't get the bucket to go, gets the rebound, has the ball knocked away out of bounds, and Midland High will keep the basketball. And now we've got an official timeout. I think that's because they're gonna make sure that that last shot was a two. That uh, they announced, the public address announcer said three. The official indicated that it was a two-point shot, and that is what the uh, discussion is at the scorer's table right now. Stopping the action with 6.40 to go. Here's a, t here's a look at it. If they want to go to uh, replay, we've got it. Mason Pilgrim clearly inside the uh, three-point line. That was a two-pointer all the way. Is that our first video review? <laughs> that doesn't exist in high school basketball, but we had a video review. I don't think they checked our monitor, actually. We, I, I'm upset. We know. confirmed it. There you go. Isaiah Bridges working, oh, trying to pass it over to Money, but instead it is Isaac Molinar that will come back the other way for the Chargers. Ben Zeitler works it over for Dow High. Jacob Stone, who may be the, the player of the half so far. Him and Chichester have worked well. Chichester can't get the shot to go. John White will get the rebound for Midland. Working back the other direction, Pilgrim. With the ball, goes into the paint. Nice drive by Pilgrim, but he can't get the basket to fall through. On the ground, everybody fighting for, and a jump ball will be called. Possession arrow goes to the Chargers. Well, Jason, if you remember uh, when Dow played Midland at Midland High, the game was really in control by Midland by about 15 to 17 points in the second half, and Dow caught up and eventually won in overtime. Somebody forgot about Mitchell Hayes all by himself. There was nobody around, and Mitchell Hayes able to easily make a uh, basket for the Chargers. Midland won't catch up that way. And right now, it's all Dow High. Midland High started off the third quarter looking like possibly a comeback, but Chargers playing great basketball, and they have been the last couple of weeks of the season. Shot taken by Al Money, that is no good. John White with the rebound, comes up and draws a foul. We'll wait to see who it's gonna be called on. It's gonna be Jacob Stone that picks up the foul. Second one on Stone, but it will send White to the free throw line. I think Stone had good, uh, he was vertical with his uh, stance, but uh, he got him with a hand. John White, the junior, able to get the free throw to fall through. There's Eric Krause doing what he does best. Second shot coming up, and that one is good as well. 31 to 17, five minutes to go in the third quarter. District quarterfinals, winner plays Mount Pleasant in the semis. Trying to go. Inside, now back out to Zeitler, working the ball around, and maybe a 
A knock from behind, no whistle, but Chichester able to follow through, feeds it to Jacob Stone, and Stone continues to be the leading scorer for the Dow High Chargers. And there's a turnover down on the other end. Dow High will come back the other way. No left. Chichester traveled. He uh, couldn't decide if he wanted to pass or dribble and turns the ball over. A yeah. rare turnover for the Chargers as Drew Gandy and Garrett Willis come back into the game for Midland. It's tough with indecision at the timeline. So, yeah. Four and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. 33 to 17, Dow High with the lead. Gandy thought about the three, decides against it, now works it over to Pilgrim. Pilgrim takes a couple of dribbles, looking for somebody to pass the ball to. Can't do it, had the ball knocked away briefly. Chargers have played great defense the entire game, forcing Midland to work the perimeter. Pilgrim, three-pointer, count it. Nathan Pilgrim with the three-pointer. Eight points on the night for Pilgrim. He's the leading scorer for Midland High. Midland's running their offense. They seem a lot more settled. Chichester working it around. Dow High goes on the baseline. That shot doesn't fall through, but a great put back there. Jacob Stone had to wait to see if it go through. Now Midland High trying to beat Chargers down in transition. 18 points for Jacob Stone. Garrett Willis, fadeaway shot is no good. Chichester with the rebound. That combination, Tom, works well. Stone getting the points, Chichester getting the rebounds. Well, as, as rangy as Chichester is, uh, and being 6'6", he's got a good vision of the, of the court and can find Stone. Right. 15 point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Three minutes to go. They work inside. Now they go back out. Jacob Stone, the bucket and the foul. Stone will go to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. Increasing that lead as uh, the foul is called on Al Money, which is his second. So more subs coming into the contest. Well, the first time we saw Midland and Dow play, we were impressed with Stone and how he played, but uh, didn't get tremendous amount of time. Second time, got a lot more playing time uh, and played even better. And now he's really, really uh, b blossomed into a dominant player. Yeah. And the three-point uh, play right there puts him at 21. That's a pretty good uh, you know, game so far. Jacob Stone, he's only averaging 11 points a game, 21 so far tonight. Isaiah Bridges unsuccessful on the three-point attempt. Ben Seitler feeds it to Chichester, and Chichester will be fouled underneath. So Zach Chichester will go to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers looking to increase. They've got their biggest lead of the game right now, and Chichester looking to add to it. Chichester goes to the basket by himself. You're just not quite sure where the ball's going to be. He's all arms. Here it is. Yeah, that one, he, he had, uh, I'm taking it to the, the hoop all the way on that one. Chichester able to get the free throw to fall through. Eight points on the game so far for Chichester. Biggest lead. The Dow High Chargers up by 20 with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. Underneath, count the basket for Drew Gandy. The senior goes into the paint, and Gandy nearly coming up with a steal, but the ball goes out of bounds. Nice drive there by, uh, by Gandy as he tries to work that baseline or came up with that steal from behind and tried to get the friendly roll here at Mount Pleasant, but it went out of bounds. And that gives uh, Gandy five points for the night. Chichester will head to the bench for the Chargers. Midland High working across midcourt, trying to make a comeback. Chargers have been playing great basketball so far. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Al Money will feed it out. Three-pointer, count it. Drew Gandy, the senior, hitting the three, and now Midland putting a little defensive pressure on the Dow High Chargers. Dow High across midcourt. 
Well, Midland's got to find something to kind of uh, take care of this this deliberate tempo that uh, Dow High looks like they are going to settle into. Now you'd have to think Midland's going to start putting a little more defensive pressure on the Dow High Chargers. Nearly came up with a steal there. Instead, Isaac Molinar launches the three-pointer. No good. Gandy gets the rebound. Gandy playing hard off the bench for the Midland High Kimmich. The shots that were falling in the first half aren't falling for Dow. Working over to Bridges, who goes into the paint. Bridges split apart the Chargers, and now a late whistle will send Bridges to the free throw line. Hopefully we get a chance to take a look at that as Bridges. Let's take a look. Apparently it was a hit to oh, the yeah, right there. forehead. Yep, right there. That's right. No doubt about it, Isaac Molinar making uh, contact, although they called the foul on Oakley. Oakley's not on the floor. Oh, yes, he is. He was hidden from me, but he was out there. Well, we saw a replay. It was Molinar, but Oakley called called for the foul, picking up his second. That's called being in the neighborhood. Isaiah Bridges on the free throw line. He averages 17 points a game for the Midland High Kimmicks. Able to hit the free throw. Kimmicks trying to... Forced the Chargers to turn over the ball, but Dow High, great transition, and all by himself, Tom Oakley underneath, getting the basket to fall. We've got under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Great pass by Molinar. He was looking towards the sideline, drew Midland's defense that way, left Oakley open underneath the basket. Now White will work the ball for the Midland High Chemics. Isaiah Bridges feeding it. Inside and John White, no place to go, so he goes back out to Kessler. Kessler go back to White. White will force it up and get the bucket to fall through. I think the Kimmicks need to go to the hoop a little bit more than what they have thus far in the contest. It'll... Seven go. points on the game for White. Chargers may be looking for the final shot of the third quarter. Ten seconds to go. Couple of dribbles. Isaac Molinar. With the ball, clock down to five, four. Fadeaway shot was blocked by John White, and Bridges will take a wild shot if the third quarter comes to an end. Eight minutes remain in the district quarterfinals. Just the final eight minutes for the Midland High Kimmicks season, or will we see a comeback uh, of epic proportions? We'll find out when we return to Mount Pleasant High School. At the end of three, Dow High 42, Midland High 29. You're watching High School Basketball on MCTV. Now this word from the MHSAA. There's just one place where students are students first and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. You know, there's no movement <laughs> to the we are back here at Mount Pleasant High School. Glad you could be with us for our coverage of the boys basketball district quarterfinals between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High leading 42 to 29 as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Dow High doing a uh, tremendous job of playing their offense. Mark Dickerson's got to be very pleased with what he has seen so far. Well, it's a small victory, but uh, Midland out, outscored Dow by three points in that quarter and uh, starting to look better, but uh, they had a lot to, uh, to fix in that first half. Uh, Dow High played well in the first half. They played well in the third quarter. Mark Dickerson, I'm sure, pleased with what he's seeing. The Chargers coming off a win, looking to make it to the semifinals here in the postseason. Midland High with the basketball. John White, couple of dribbles. Now we'll feed it back over to Al Money. Chargers defense forcing Midland on the perimeter. They've done it the entire game, and we've got a foul call. That is the, uh, the one thing that Mark Dickerson may not like, is the fact that they've had a lot of hand check, a lot of ticky-tacky fouls called. That is something that Mark Dickerson will want to correct before uh, Wednesday's contest. 
Nick Siraki picking up his third foul. Midland High with the basketball. Leading scorer so far, Jacob Stone, 21 points. Zach Chichester's got eight points in the game. Midland High led by Drew Gandy and John White. Two players coming off the bench, and now we've got a jump ball called. Great defense underneath by the Dow High Chargers. But how about the fact, Tom, that the two highest scorers in the game for Midland High are both players that have came off the bench? That is uh, indicative of what uh, Dow has been trying to take the game away from, both Willis and from Bridges. Dow High working the basketball with a commanding lead in this game. And there's a lot of Midland High starters that uh, you know, have goose eggs right now. That's, that's that Charger defense that we've seen. Yeah, they are, they're, they're playing so well on the, uh, the arc and defending the pass inside. But right now we've got Dow with the ball. And we've got a stoppage of play. We've got something called underneath. We're gonna have a foul. I, uh, Drew Gandy was gonna pick up a foul away from the ball. Only the first one on Gandy, so, but the Chargers will have a chance to kind of uh, reset things as Zach Chichester checks in. Jacob Stone will take a break for Dow High. Well, this is only a 13-point game. If uh, Midland High can get the game under 10, uh, possibly a couple of turnovers on the press, this could become a close game. I think we're seeing a lot of frustration set in and for the uh, Midland High Chemist. Mark Dickerson's gonna take a timeout with six and a half minutes to play in the contest. Dow High leading 42 to 29. We'd like to uh, thank a few people for making this broadcast possible, mainly the athletic booster clubs of both Dow High and Midland High. If their support was not uh, possible, we would not be on the air bringing you the postseason. So many thanks to the booster clubs of both high schools. And of course, coming up later on this month, the booster bash out at Valley Plaza. And there's our uh, thanks to the Midland High Boosters, Dow High Boosters, and of course, Jim Conway at the Mount Pleasant High School Athletic Department. Conway, always a class act, doing a tremendous job making us feel welcome here at Mount Pleasant. But back to the booster bash, it comes your way March 17th, a St. Patrick's Day boost booster bash. And it'll be at Valley Plaza. It's a great way to support the athletic department or the athletic booster clubs of, uh, of, both, of both schools because the athletic departments cannot do it all. And the booster clubs, Tom, do so much for the student athletes. Right, and it's a joint effort, which is really uh, a great thing for our community, that they're, they're collecting money, they split it 50-50, and they're able to use it for whatever the booster club uh, find as a needed uh, item. Yeah, uniforms, practice equipment, television broadcasts, whatever may be needed. Great rebound, a great putback there. The Dow High Chargers just continue to play terrific basketball, and they lead the way here in this quarterfinal contest. Although, although paying announcers is never on their list. That is a <laughs> volunteer position. Volunteer, yes. John White with the ball from Midland. Martin Money will feed it over. Now working over to Mason Pilgrim who hits the three-pointer for the Midland High Kimmich. Chargers will come back the other direction quickly down the floor. Nick Siraki will be fouled and well, the officials are gonna get together to find out uh, <laughs> who they one? got. Yeah, who's, who's gonna get called? It's gonna be Al Money who has called up the third foul on Money. Well, Mason Pilgrim has had a really good shooting second half. He, he hit one or two in the first half, but uh, one in the first half, four of six. Chichester back into the game for the Chargers. Working back around, they go inside, and Martin Money is there to come away. Midland High looking to try to put some points in a hurry. A lot of their big scorers have been quiet tonight. I think Martin Money's only got one basket. Garrett Willis is scoreless as we've got a foul on the floor. How about that uh, for a fact? Garrett Willis averaging 18 points a game for the Midland High Chemics. He's got zero tonight. Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. 
trying to come up with some kind of uh, offensive attack because uh, Willis and Bridges, those are two players that together, uh, 18 points, 17 points a game. They've got one basket between the two of them here tonight. One basket out of 17 attempts for the two of them combined. And, and a lot of them have been highly contested shots. 44 to 32, Dow High with the lead. Eric Krauss using a 30 second timeout. By the way, this game, now if you take a look at the uh, Kimmick student section, this game produced by MCTV volunteers. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, we would love to have you as part of our crew. You can call the MCTV studio at 837-3474. Or you can head online to the City of Midland website. You can also find us on Facebook. Become an MCTV volunteer. Again, that number, 837-3474. We'd love to have you on uh, productions and you even get to travel a little bit, albeit, you know, Midland to Mount Pleasant, <laughs> but travel nonetheless. That's travel. Come on. Yeah, 27 miles of, uh, of scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Pilgrim, shot no good. He follows the shot. Can't get the putback to go through. Chichester comes up with the rebound, and he'll draw the foul. Eric Krauss doesn't like uh, that at all. Mason Pilgrim isn't happy. Now they're going to call that. Well, I don't know who. They called that on Pilgrim. That may be the fourth one. Pilgrim was on half. He thought he was fouled by Chichester, and then Chichester got the rebound, so Pilgrim committing the foul. Now frustration for Midland High. It's actually only the first foul on Pilgrim, but just, just frustration at this point of the game, and underneath Midland High will commit a foul that will send Oakley to the free throw line. The biggest lead Dow High has had as you take a look at the, uh, the foul on Willis, Dow High had a 20-point lead at one point. Midland has chipped away at that. Oakley on the free throw line gets a friendly bounce. Well, Midland is going to have to take some gambles now to get back into this game because uh, they're running out of time. Second free throw is good. Six points on the night for Oakley. Midland High will bring Pilgrim back into the game. Although, yeah, they are going to make him tuck in his shirt. Just under five minutes to go in the district quarterfinals. Chargers have been impressive here tonight, looking to continue their season. Pilgrim with the basketball will feed it to Martin Money. Money looking to go inside, and we're going to have a foul called on Oakley. He disagrees. I don't know. If, if that wasn't a foul, then he was trying to hold hands. So I think, <laughs> I think it's got to be a foul. Well, as he was jumping up, he was pushing Bridges towards the, uh, the baseline. So one way or the other, it is a foul. That is the third one on Oakley. Garrett Willis. With the basketball over to John White. White going baseline, back to Willis. Chargers continuing their impressive defense. Inside to John White, can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Ben Zeitler. Zeitler doesn't have any points, but he has been doing a lot of things to lead the Chargers. Playing in that guard position. Not everybody can score, but the little things to make a team successful. You need some of those role players to set up your teammates. Zeitler and Hayes playing those roles very well here tonight. Four minutes to go. Dow High working around the perimeter. Isaac Molinar with the basketball. And nearly coming up with a steal as Martin Money doesn't get it to go his way. Well, Dow's uh, starting to take the air out of the ball a bit here by running some clock. Give her down to 338. Dow High continuing to, you know, work the clock as much as possible. They go inside to Oakley. Can't get the shot to go. Willis will get the rebound for Midland High. Willis down court will feed it out to Pilgrim. Pilgrim goes back 
to the top of the key to Willis. Willis drives in from the corner. Can't get the shot to go. Money with the rebound. Money goes back out to Bridges. Somewhat surprised Money didn't go up for the shot. Instead, they'll work it back around. Martin Money, bounce pass inside to Bridges. Bridges being double teamed, will go back out. Money, long three-pointer, no good. Bridges will get the rebound. Bridges looking for the putback, and nice. that does fall through. Boy, he battled for that one. He earned every point of that shot. A good possession for Midland High, but at this point, too little, too late with 2.45 to go. If things stay as is, the Dow High Chargers will play Mount Pleasant in the district semifinal. Mount Pleasant picked to win the district. The Oilers having a great season. And Mark Dickerson will call a timeout with 2.28 on the clock. And Dow High leading this game 46 to 34. The other side of the bracket, by the way, Bay City Central will play Saginaw Heritage. The finals will be Friday night here at Mount Pleasant. And Mark Dickerson's got to be pleased because this has been a season, Tom, of a, kind of a roller coaster ride for Mark Dickerson. There's been some, some highs, including a victory over Saginaw. There's been some losses with a uh, controversial loss to Beaverton. And you know, th this is a, a Dow High Charger team that's kind of, uh, you know, they they went up, they've went down, but now the Charger fans have something to cheer about because the last couple of weeks, Dow High's peaking when they need to peak. Well, and I think that Mark did uh, both Beaverton and Meridian uh, a, a, a nice favor to be able to have them play a Class A school. And they ended up losing both of them for for two very different kinds of reasons, maybe. Uh, the fact that both Beaverton and Meridian played very well. But uh, to look at uh, some of the reasons uh, that they, uh, Dow did not play their best games on that night. And we'll leave it at that because otherwise it gets uh, kind of a nitpicky and political. <laughs> And we try to keep our opinions positive. Yes. At least on camera. On camera. <laughs> Two and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Dow High leading this game 46 to 34. Looking to move on to the district semifinals. And we've got a foul that will send Dow High to the free throw line. A one and one situation from uh, here on out. So the Chargers will go to the free throw line as, as Dow High will have Mitchell Hayes on the line. Garrett Willis is going to uh, head to the bench. Yeah, I, I don't know if he knocked knees with somebody, but uh, he seemed to be uh, walking a little gingerly. Hayes gets the first free throw to fall. He's playing his senior season for the Dow High Chargers. Second one does not fall through. 13 point lead with 2.10 to go. Isaiah Bridges will feed it out. Al Money with the basketball. Money into the paint, feeds it to Bridges and Bridges with the hook shot. Getting the basket to fall through. Nice pass by Money, just a freshman. Ben Feitler working the ball. Feitler feeds it to Molinar. Molinar goes back out over to Chichester. Chargers in no hurry to score. They may force Midland High to foul at this point. 12 point lead and there John White is forced to, to foul. So that will send Molinar to the free throw line. Isaac Molinar is just a junior, so he'll be back next year for the Dow High Chargers. And whether he scores a lot or not, he's real steady. You know, he's an important player for Mark to have on the court. He's a fun player to watch. He will, you know, we've seen him a couple of times in you know a game where he can score 20 points, and then the next time he'll have you know four points and six assists. He's, you know, he's, he's one of those players that can adapt. He's not afraid to pass the ball. Exactly, exactly. And those people are very valuable because it's not all about points. Ninety seconds to go in this quarterfinal game. 
Midland High working the basketball. Feeds it back out over Midland High. Driving in, a foul will be called on Jacob Stone as Al Money trying to make something happen. He's just a freshman, so he's got a few more seasons of basketball. But his brother Martin is playing his senior season. Now if you take a look at the replay, a few players on this uh, Midland High team about a minute away from uh, capping off their high school basketball season. Drew Gandy, Martin Money, Ben Worley, and Garrett Willis are the four seniors on this Midland High basketball team. Second free throw is no good, but a great job by Money of following that through. Three-pointer by Gandy, count it. Drew Gandy with the three. Eric Krauss will call a timeout. Gandy, the leading scorer for the Midland High Chemics. 11 points on the game for Drew Gandy. And Midland's got this under nine, but it would have been better if it had happened about two minutes ago. It may be too little too late with a minute nine to play in the contest. We never know. We're talking, you know, three three-pointers, and we know Midland High can shoot the three-pointer as Gandy has demonstrated. Yeah, and uh, both Gandy and Pilgrim both have uh, done a real nice job the second half. Quickly, the broadcast of today's game, a copyrighted presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and the NCTV Network. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the description for accounts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and Midland Community Television. The first two meetings between these two teams went to overtime. Midland High's nine points away from uh, forcing overtime number three of the season. But they've got a foul to get the ball back, and that is exactly what they do. Yeah, three three-pointers. We've, yeah. we've seen some strange things in our, uh, you know, 30-plus years of uh, television <laughs> coverage. 30-plus, yeah. In the days of antenna, huh? <laughs> On the free throw line, Ben Zeitler. That's the, uh, that's the first basket of the game for Zeitler, but it you know, comes at a pretty good time. You know, when we started doing games, Charter didn't even, uh, well, Charter existed, but not in Midland. We were on Bresnan Communications when we started. Wow. Second free throw. And powered by squirrels <laughs> in a wheel. Exactly. 11-point <laughs> Dow High lead. Under a minute to go, Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer no good, rebound by Molinar, and the Kimmicks forced a foul, and now Dow High in the double bonus, so the Chargers will be shooting two. And as you mentioned, Tom, that, you know, that free three-pointer that cut the lead down to nine, just too little too late. Isaac Molinar on the free throw line, the 18th free throw of the game for the Dow High Chargers. And now a few substitutions coming into the game. Martin Money will re-enter. Ben Worley has came into the game as well. And uh, Chris Swanson. Swanson's a junior getting some uh, playing time, at least listed as a junior on our on our roster, but the seniors out on the floor for the Midland High Kimmicks. A couple of them. And a turnover there will give the uh, ball back. Now Andrew Capua will come into the game. So Eric Krauss getting some playing time for several players. 13 point lead and at this point the uh, white flag is gonna be waved with 40 seconds to go in the contest. Chargers will move on. Mark Dickerson's gonna call a timeout. I think that's a, uh, a timeout to get uh, some different players into the game with uh, 36 seconds on the clock. It's a great opportunity because you just don't know as you are going through the tournament that uh, the games will be tougher and hard to sub. Now the Chargers, see, you saw the student section a few moments ago. They've got the brooms out. <laughs> Looking to uh, make it three in a row 
this season for the for the Dow High Chargers. Again, if you're just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, which I'm sure you do if you are a Charger fan, you can uh, catch this game on IBC TV, 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock, the showtimes on Charter Channel 189. Also available on UVerse on 99. The game will also be on the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel in the near future as well. And that will be in high definition. I'm glad you're observant. I missed the broom. But I'm seeing it now. 30 seconds to go. All right, now you're seeing the Dow High Chargers running out the clock. Yeah. 20 yeah. fouls. There's a possible steal. And now Martin Money is going to be called for a foul as he uh, pushes Nick Soraki down to the floor and then Money embraces Soraki afterwards. Both football players. Yeah, that's, that's not the first time Money and Soraki have uh, tackled each other during the, uh, the course of their careers. That's true. But usually they get grass stains. Usually, usually uh, you know, on the gridiron, but... There's the uh, Charger student section getting ready to uh, celebrate victory number three, although this one a little bit easier than the first two. The, the first two meetings going into overtime. This one controlled by the Dow High Chargers for the majority of the contest. Wow, Dow missed a free throw. They were 16 for 18 up to that point. Nick Soraki on the free throw line and Soraki will get the second one to fall through. 18 free throws for the Dow High Chargers. 18 successful free throws for the Dow High Chargers. Long three-pointer by Worley. That would have been nice to see the, uh, the senior get a basket at the end, but did not happen. And the Dow High Chargers will have the basketball as the final seconds are rolling off the clock here in Mount Pleasant. And the Dow High Chargers will walk over. Well, they're gonna they're gonna call a travel because the Chargers started the celebration a little bit early, but it's not gonna make a difference in the game. The final horn sounds, and uh, the Dow High Chargers will move on in the postseason. And the uh, winning streak at the end of the year continuing for Mark Dickerson. The Chargers improving to 13 and eight overall. The Midland High Chemics dropping down to uh, eight and 13 on the season, not the way that Eric Krause wanted the season to end for the Midland High Chemex as they have lost their, their final three games, but Eric Krause, the veteran and coach, will definitely regroup for next year. The Dow High Chargers, they're going to have uh, a day to regroup because uh, in two days, the Dow High Chargers will be taking on Mount Pleasant in the uh, second uh, round of the district action. The Dow High Chargers, the Mount Pleasant Oilers, that game will not be broadcast here on uh, MCTV, so you'll have to come to Mount Pleasant to uh, watch it. If you're watching this broadcast in time, make your plans to come here to watch the Chargers and the Oilers, which should be a tremendous game. Mount Pleasant, one of the favorites to win, but the Chargers, as we saw tonight, Tom, and there's, there's, a, uh, there's a look at Eric Krause and Mark Dickerson, the two respective coaches, and Let's not forget, Mark Dickerson was a, an assistant coach for Eric Krause for several years, and there's a, a great embrace between those two men, two, uh, two friends off the court, competitors on the court, and obviously Mark Dickerson having a uh, terrific end of the season for the, uh, for the Dow High Chargers. But as we mentioned, uh, up next for Dow High is Mount Pleasant, and Tom, that should be a great matchup. Yeah, and Mount Pleasant's got the home court advantage. They're kind of the favorite, but you know, you, you've got to continue to, uh, to play well. Uh, Dow is playing exceptionally well. We've got, uh, we're looking at Dow having a really nice inside game, and they've been moving the ball very, very well. And Mount Pleasant has got their hands full. Some final stats courtesy of Jeff Yoder. That's uh, that's Jeff Yoder right there. He's our he's our stat man. Oh, they, they we we go we go to you and they cut away. Huh? See how that. Jeff Yoder doing a great job providing stats for us throughout the season, and <laughs> you and me both. But here we are on TV nonetheless. Let's take a look at some uh, final stats. Jacob Stone, 21 points in the game for the Dow High Chargers. Zach Chichester, eight points and three rebounds. Dow High, 18 of 21 for free throws. Only six turnovers 
for the Dow High Chargers. That's a great offensive performance. 17 of 35 from the field. Midland High led by Mason Pilgrim with 11 points. Or actually, Drew Gandy, 18 points. Pilgrim had 11. Both of those players coming off the bench for the Midland High Chemex. Only eight free throws for Midland High. They had seven turnovers. It was just from the get-go. It was Dow High playing Dow High basketball. And, Tom, that is what propelled them to victory. And uh, Dow High effectively took both Willis and Bridges kind of out of their scoring a comfort tonight. And uh, Midland High took way too long to try to find a way to uh, try to climb back in. They ran out of time and they ran out of points. Well, I don't remember the last time Garrett Willis was held scoreless in a basketball game, but it happened tonight. Yeah. That is, yeah. Uh, that is great defense for the Dow High Chargers. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your video screen. When you know these guys, when you get a chance to talk to these guys, when you get a chance to, uh, to meet them in the streets, be sure to thank them for making MCTV Sports possible because we could not do it without them. And you're going to see those guys in just a couple of moments. Again, thanks to Jim Conway here at Mount Pleasant for all of his hope all of his help and of course thanks to both Midland High and Dow High Booster Club for all of their support again the Booster Bash coming up March 17th at Valley Plaza for my broadcast partner Tom Bell my name is Jason Harper the final score tonight the Dow High Chargers 54 Midland High 40 thank you for watching high school basketball on MCTV